In this strategy card game, it's creativity and cleverness that determine your success. Victory comes down to one simple question. What's your move? This is Legends of Rune Terror. And these are the champions. Champions enter battle are some of the most powerful cards in the game. I'll lead us to victory! And each champ has a unique mechanic to become even stronger. But to reach their full potential, you'll have to play smart and look for the right opportunity to level them up. But if you can pull it off, the transformation is game-changing. Gain new abilities to crush your enemies. Hasegi! Turn the tide of battle with a swift combo. They will no match. Even break the rules and claim a new way to win. Every champion comes from a region of Rune Terra, where allies of all kinds can join them in the fight. If you need soldiers to reinforce your army, Demacia stands ready. When your plan calls for striking hard and fast, the warriors of Noxus are legion. And for survivors that will outlast everything else, look no further than the Freljord. Each region plays differently and offers their own set of strategic advantages. Savvy players will combine cards from more than one to wield the strengths of both. Seek out Ionia to bring agility and flexibility to your fights. Add Piltover and Zorn to assemble a plan piece by piece. Or summon the Shadow Isles to unleash ruin upon your fragile, mortal foes. The paths to victory are many. Get creative, because how you build your deck is completely up to you. But it's not just what you play, it's how you play it. At its core, Legends of Rune Tower is all about the choices you make and the risks you take. Here's how it goes down. Each round, players are either on offense or defense, indicated by sword or shield. While only one player gets to attack each round, both get to play cards, which means every move matters. In Legends of Rune Terra, you alternate actions with your opponent. If they play a unit, you get to play something of your own, like a champion. Of course, the reverse could always happen too, so think carefully about every card you play. By the time it's your turn to act again, the state of the board could be completely different. Many legs, not enough moustache. Even when to attack is a critical decision. Do you play a unit first to increase your ranks and risk your opponent adding a powerful defender? Or attack with what you have now, forcing the fight, but reducing the impact. And sometimes, it all comes down to the spells. Cast a spell outside of combat or as a reaction to the changing battle. When your allies are set to clash with the enemy, you could bolster them with a quick buff. In response, your opponent may sneak in a shady move. While you consider a counter of your own, Keep in mind, every action has a reaction. No one belongs in chains! As the magic's maneuvers start to pile up, Oracle's Eye can help forecast the outcome before you fully commit. Once the chain of action-reaction is complete, the sequence goes off. I've been hiding my light too long! Victory or defeat, each battle brings experience and progress. Choose which region you explore first and unlock the cards that call to you, changing regions as often as you'd like. As you advance, you'll collect new allies, spells, and champions. More than enough for multiple decks. You'll also come across wild cards, which can be turned into any card you want. No guessing required. Alternatively, use the shards you've earned and the coins you've bought to acquire cards from the store. How you get cards is your choice. Once a week, the vault opens. Experiment with an abundance of new cards to discover your playstyle and craft your strategy. As your collection grows, so do the possibilities. And the journey is just beginning. Soon, you'll be able to embark on expeditions and draft a deck as you go. 
overcome as many opponents as you can with an evolving set of cards. Or truly test your skill by taking your strategy into ranked and see where you stand among the best players in Rune Terra. Where you go from here is up to you. From the champions to the combat, the regions to the reactions, every choice you make is a chance to be legendary.
Hi, I'm Jeff Jew. I'm Andrew Yip. And we We have a confession. We're making a card game. What? Okay, okay. We know what some of you might be thinking. Riot, there are plenty of card games. Why are you making another one? And we get it. We've been playing them since we were kids, so we're super familiar with the flaws of our favorite genre. Spending an entire paycheck just to try another deck, over-the-top RNG deciding which player wins, metas that get solved way too fast, and cards that stay broke way too long. So we asked ourselves, what if we could change all that? We spent a lot of time thinking about what we would do differently. And now, we're aiming to shake up the card game formula by keeping what's great, improving what's not, and adding some new twists of our own. We've been hard at work making the best card game that we can imagine, one that we hope players everywhere will love. And we're super excited to show you what we've got so far. Today, we're gonna share three things we hope will excite you too. How we're bringing the world of League of Legends to this game, what makes our gameplay unique, and finally, how you unlock cards. Let's do it. When we decided to make a card game in the League of Legends universe, we knew where we had to start, the champions. Ask any League player and they'll tell you why their main is the most badass, exciting, and satisfying champ to play. Our goal is to make the champions in Legends of Runeterra live up to those expectations and then some. <laughs> In the first set, you can choose from 24 champion cards to include in your deck, each with a unique mechanic inspired by their original League abilities. Champions enter the battle as powerful cards, and if you play smart, they level up to become even more epic. These level ups are game-changing moments, both strategically and visually. Champions are key cards to build your deck around, but to take down the enemy nexus, you're gonna need a team. Pick allies that support your champ's strategy to level up fast and take control of the board. And you have tons of supporting cards to choose from. You'll encounter some familiar faces and discover completely new ones. Every card and character in the game comes from a region of Runeterra. At launch, you have access to cards from six major regions, Demacia, Noxus, Freljord, Piltover and Zaun, Ionia, and the Shadow Isles. Each region has a distinct playstyle and strategic advantage but things get even more interesting when you combine cards from two different regions. There's a deck for every personality and playstyle. But it's up to you to find the right cards for your winning strategy, or a different kind of strategy. We believe the best card games are the ones where you make meaningful choices and constantly interact with your opponent, while the worst ones feel like complicated solitaire. So, we're designing Legends of Runeterra to really focus on that back and forth between you and the player on the other side of the screen. Each of you trying to anticipate the other's move and then beat them to the punch. You'll probably start with a strategy in mind and a win condition on the horizon. But as you alternate actions with your opponent, you'll need to think quick and make on-the-fly decisions. It's all about finding opportunities to predict what your opponent will do next, adapt your strategy, and achieve that ultimate outplay the moment when you pull off your plan and make the move that wins you the game. In our experience, these moments are the best part of a good card game. So we want to increase how often they happen and ensure that there are multiple paths to get there. Now we could spend hours talking about all the ways you can win, but they told us to keep this video short. So here's a few. In Legends of Runeterra, it's skill above all. No game is over until it's over, and there will always be new cards and strategies to discover. But there's probably still a big question on your mind. How do I actually get all these cards? We thought for a long time about what we, as players, would want the answer to be. With most card games, it takes a lot of time, money, or luck to get what you want. And if the only way you can get cards is at random, that sucks. We think one of the most fun aspects of a card game is experimenting with the different kinds of decks to find your style. And that's really hard to do when unlocking new stuff is too random or too expensive. So one of our top priorities is to give you more choice in how you get your cards. To start, Legends of Runeterra is free to play. As you play, you'll complete quests and earn experience to advance and automatically unlock new cards. But which region you unlock first is totally up to you. You decide where your cards come from and can switch regions whenever you want. 
which makes assembling your dream deck a whole lot easier. We get how fun Kraken packs can be. It's paying for the card lottery that really sucks. So at the start of each week, you'll also unlock chests from the vault. These chests level up the more you play. They can also contain wild cards, which can be turned into any card you want, no guessing required. But we know sometimes you just want a guaranteed way to get specific cards too. So instead of waiting for the right drop, you can unlock cards for your collection using shards you've earned or coins you've bought. Bottom line, in Legends of Runeterra, you will never pay for randomized packs. And you have a bunch of different ways to get the cards you actually want. No matter what, you'll end up with multiple decks for both casual duels and the competitive meta. We're really excited to focus less on selling packs and more on the things that make a card game great. Deep, interactive strategy, frequent releases and balance updates, and endless experimentation. We hope that by focusing on these things above all else, Legends of Runeterra can grow to become more than just a game. Like League back in 2009, we believe the journey is just beginning, and with your help, we can create something incredible together. What you've seen today is a foundation which we intend to build on for years to come. The full PC beta is coming in early 2020, and you can pre-register for both PC and mobile right now at playrunterra.com. We bought that URL, right guys? Dot com? And I know we said we only have three things to share today, but we might actually have one more. Are we ready? Guess we'll find out. For the next five days, we're rolling out a special preview patch of Legends of Runeterra on PC. Head to playrunterra.com and pre-register for a chance to get access right now. You can also check out live streams on Twitch to see more gameplay and link your Riot account to increase your chance of getting access. A lot of things are work in progress and we're still developing the final features, but we're super excited for you all to get a first look. And if you don't get a chance to play this time around, don't worry. We'll be back with another preview patch before the end of the year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And until then, we hope you enjoy your first peek at Legends of Runeterra. They told us to keep this video short, so here's a few. how often they happen and ensure that there are multiple paths to get there. Now we could spend hours talking about all the ways you can win, but they told us to keep this video short, so here's a few.
In Legends of Runeterra, it's skill above 